folks, one of the questions I get asked all the time are, what are my favorite pirate-themed games? Always looking for that perfect pirate game. Now, to be clear, when I'm talking about pirates, I'm talking about the romanticized, fun, adventure pirates that exists only in books and movies. You know, real-life piracy was not that exciting. And in fact, there's a game by Richard Berg called Blackbeard, which is kind of dull because it tries to be very realistic. I don't want to be realistic. Also, for my list, I did not really consider games that have pirates as a faction. Smash Up has a pirates faction. Chaos Ball is a pirates faction. I like both those games a lot, but they're not really pirate games. They just happen to be a faction that shows up in them. And, it, you know, as I went through this list, I was like, wow, there is a lot of pirate-themed games out there. I'm still looking for that truly great pirates game, but we'll, we'll see um, which ones are out there. I'll have to give an honorable mention to, um, let's see, let's see... Oh, yes. <laughs> weapons and Warriors, Pirate Battle. Uh, weapons and Warriors, you know, you're shooting the little uh, balls at each other. It was a ripoff of Crossbows and Catapults. Uh, but Weapons and Crossbows and Catapults used discs. Weapons and Warriors used little orange balls. And there was a pirate set. So, come on, that was a lot of fun just to shoot at each other, knock each other's folks off the ships and blow their ships up. I like that a lot. All right, but here we go. My 10 favorite pirate games. And, oh, I'm so sad that there's a couple games I didn't put on the list well, I'll get to those at the end, I guess. Here we go. Number 10, Merchants and Marauders. Now, I know some people are like, what? That's my favorite. For a lot of people, this is the definitive pirate game. Merchants and Marauders, you can essentially be a merchant or a pirate. And you go around and pick up goods and deliver them or go steal them from other people. Of course, you're taking a chance that other people are going to, that other, that the big ships, you know, the English, the, the ships that are out there the, are going to come and take you down. This game is really has all kinds of options. You can be an honest man or you can be a pirate. The problem with it is it's just too long. It's one person's turn can take a really long time. There's too much downtime in the game, but I still like the game itself. I'd love to see a more streamlined version of this come out someday, but it's on my list, Merchants and Marauders. Number nine is Port Royale. Now, I debated about putting Port Royale on the list because it's a card game, a push-you-luck card game where you're trying to uh, get as many ships where you can destroy as many ships as possible without drawing the same things twice. There's a lot of games out there like that. Port Royale does a really good job at it. But that pirate theme is present, so it's on my list. Really, really love this game. Still haven't played the expansions for it, but that's going to happen any day now. Port Royale. Number eight is Sea of Clouds. This game from Yellow is kind of a futurist, not a futuristic, but like a steampunkish pirate game where you're going through the clouds and you're getting different pirates into your crew and different equipment and trying to find treasure maps and different things. And the, the pirate theme is kind of scattered throughout this game. It's more of a push your luck. Again, this is a game where the mechanisms take higher precedence over the theme, but it's a lot of fun. The artwork, of course, it's yellow, is phenomenal. Sea of Clouds. Number seven is Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is amazingly that it took them this long for that to be the, the name of a game. It's a great name for a game. This is a cooperative game that feels very similar to Pandemic and Flashpoint Fire Rescue because you are pirates going on a ship that's burning and on fire and has ghost pirates on it, and you're trying to get loot and get off the ship as fast as you can together without the whole ship burning up or your guys getting killed by ghost pirates, etc., etc. Very fun. It's very, you know, fantasy-like pirate with ghosts and stuff, but definitely want to check this one out from Minion Games. Number six is Francis Drake. Although if he was here today, he would probably demand that I make this list the top 10 privateer um, list or privateer list, but no, sorry, pirate. Francis Drake, you're a pirate. And in this game, you are, uh, there's a uh, first round of, first phase of each round, you are collecting resources. I need some more cannonballs. I need this. You're taking time getting those, then loading up your ships and going out and conquering different bases as a pirate and so on. Very fun game, really well-designed game. Certainly you want to check this one out. Number five is Jamaica. Jamaica is a pirate racing game. And in this game, you get two cards that, uh, I'm sorry, you get one card and you're going to play this card based on a die roll and how, how these two dice are placed and you're going to either be loading up on gold or provisions or gunpowder. Then you're going to go fight other pirates, but you're also racing around the island of Jamaica as fast as you can. It's a silly, fun game, but has done extremely well. It's a great gateway game and, oh, just amazing artwork. As you can tell, amazing artwork, I think it's kind of a hallmark of a good pirate game. 
Number four is Libertalia. Speaking of artwork, Libertalia is a game where each person has a pirate crew. There are 30 cards in the game, but you're only going to be using some of them. One person's going to draw nine random cards. Everyone else will take those same cards, and you'll take turn playing these pirates at the same time, flipping them over, see what happens. Some pirates will kill other pirates. Some pirates will uh, steal gold from the person next to you. You'll do this six times. You have three pirates left over. You take another six random pirates, but now everyone has nine slightly different pirates. It's a lot like a very popular game called Citadels. It just has this, even though it's just a card game, brings forth that pirate flavor very well. Number three is Pirate's Cove. This Days of Wonder game, you each have your own pirate ship, and you're going to be upgrading as time goes by with these wooden rings on it. And each turn of the game, you're going to pick where, which island you're going to go to, Everyone will go to these different islands. They will then, if you go to the same island as someone else, you got to fight them, rolling dice. You're going to be upgrading, getting parrots and other things, uh, better cannons, upgrading your crew, upgrading your ship for speed's sake. And also there's big nasty pirates like Blackbeard wandering around. It's very, very light, but it's an entertaining game. And of course, because it's Days of Wonder, super high quality. Uh, this one I don't believe is in print currently, but I think you can still get it if you hunt for it. That's Pirate's Cove. Number two is World of Yoho. World of Yoho is another game from Yellow. And this one, you use your phone as a ship. Uh, you download the app onto your phone, you put it on the board, and as you move it, the background of the board is shown on your phone, and you see your ship as you move from spot to spot. You can go pick up resources and then take them to another spot, but you're also loading up with all sorts of cannonballs and different uh, crew, because when you come across another ship, both your phones are next to each other, they're shooting cannonballs back and forth, boarding another ship, and stealing the stuff that they have. Oh, it's really, really well done. It is almost a computer game that's on a board. It's kind of a weird thing. It's super unique. Really like this one. And my favorite pirate game of all times currently is Rum and Bones, especially the new one that just came out, Rum and Bones Second Tide. Yes, this is just a tactical game. It's based on the MOBA games where you have creatures that are rushing at each other but a really strong pirate vibe, running, jumping back and forth from ship to ship, shooting cannons, having a kraken show up, special abilities, running around, all kinds of cool things. You're acting like a pirate when you're playing this game. Silly, fun, fast combat. I really love this game, one of my favorite games of all time. It really brings that adventurous pirate theme to life for me. There's other games that have pirates in them, like loot. There's Winds of Plunder from GMT Games, Dread Curse, Time Pirates, which is about pirates through time. I didn't know if that counted or not. Mutiny on the Little Blue, Plunder, and so on and so forth. Like I said, there's a lot more pirate games than I thought. There still is not. I don't know that there's a definitive pirate game. Uh, Rum and Bones is really close for me, It's, but it's mostly about the battle back and forth. I love that. It's great. Amazing. But I'm looking for a game like Merchants and Marauders, where you go around and you're also pirating and picking things up and selling them and just fighting, but a more streamlined version of that, when that comes out, that could be the best pirate game of all time. As it is for now, don't get me wrong, loving Rum and Bones. These are my favorite pirate games. What are yours? Tell me in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower, Top 10 Pirate Games. Arr. Thanks so much for watching The Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.